ng Power Route Interface and Basic Configuration. The ng Firewall typically deployed at the public network address as a router. It serves as a proxy server to allow intranet user able to access the outside internet. Every single traffic also has to pass through the ng Firewall before forward to the outside network. It will highly affect the user network environment to provide higher security. In order to allow internet user to access the internet, the ng Firewall should configure the basic routing and forwarding function also. Let us study a simple topology over here to more understand how to deploy a route interface. This is the client environment with two local networks inside LAN. Client wish to place the ng Firewall between the outside network and a local network. Here we can see outside network is different subnet range with the local network. So we have to configure the ng Firewall Ethernet as the route interface to connect each other side and work as a gateway. Basically, there will be five simple steps have to configure in the route interface and some basic configuration. The first step is to connect the ng firewall with the Ethernet 0. Change the connected PC IP address time range within the ng firewall and access the web UI. After that, user can set up the route interface to those Ethernet directly connected to other networks. Because the ng firewall filtering the packet with the zoom type, so we also have to add in the new zoom and assign it to the particular interface. After that, we can do some basic routing and other configuration in the ng firewall to guarantee all the inside network users able to access the outside network. Let's hands on to start some configuration in the ng firewall. First of all, we have to access the web UI before we able to do any other setting. By default, the ng firewall Ethernet 0 away same IP address which is the 10.251.251.251.254. lane so we have to configure the connected PC same subnet range with the ng firewall. After that, we can self the configuration, and we can access the ng firewall web UI with the HTTPS double dot slash slash ten dot two five one dot two five one dot two five one. After that, the ng firewall will prompt for the super admin username and password. The default setting of ng firewall is to enter the admin in both username and password. Once we're done, we're able to access the web UI. So the first step is configure the Ethernet one as the LAN interface. And select the type as the route mode and take the pingable option to allow ng file reply any ICMP message. After that, add in the IP address of the ng firewall between the summary range and network address will be directly connected to the Cauchish IP address, which is the 192.168.1.1 slash day 4. So we continue the same configuration step in the Ethernet 2 which is connected to the ISP. User also have to remember take the web attribute option while the interface is connected to the outside network. Of course, we also have to assign a single IP address for the ng firewall to work as an address interface point to the public network, which is the 1.2.1.2. We are required to add in the new zone and assign those related interface because mostly of the ng file feature also have to specific the source and destination within the zoom type. So we have to create the LAN zone for it. Choose the internet one and add it to the selector bar. Once we done, click OK. And we continue to create one more zone and name it as a WAN zone and select route as a forward mode and also we have to place the internet tool to the selector bar and you can see the zoom type of where we change the corresponding zoom after the cabling we can see both status of the interface is up and user can access the web ui with the 192.168.1.254 so we can text the connection for it
the connection is still failed due to some basic routing is not yet properly set up so we have to configure the static route for it so there will be two static route I pre-configure at all the first one is the default static route to allow all traffic forward to the outside the second static route is let the NG firewall know the existence of the network is not directly connected so this is the basic routing of the NG firewall after that we still have to configure for the application control by default all application will be denied after the packet passed through the NG firewall it's because the default policy created in the NG firewall is designed as a deny action you also have to create another policy above the default policy in order to allow all other traffic transfer so user also have to select all those zones we created right now as the source and destination After that, we also have to select all service that is included all port of the TCP, UDP and ICMP service. And lastly, remember to take the allow option and save for it. Now we can test the connection again to ping the gateway IP address. Once the gateway is successfully ping, it also means we can access the outside network without any issue and we also can ping for the google.com At the end, we can conclude all the local users able to access the internet That's all for my tutorial, thank you